All right, welcome. This is Katrina Sawa, and I want to introduce you to five of the six authors in the Secret Sauce of Downsizing book coming out this January 14th. It's Tuesday, it's launch day, so make sure you mark your calendars and help these awesome ladies become an international best selling author. I want to introduce you to Marlena Ulrich, who is uh, the, the uh, idea person behind this book, The Secret Sauce of Downsizing. The Complete Guide for Living with Less and Loving It More. Marlena, tell us what happened and how you got this idea and what you do. Okay, great. Um, well, I got this idea because, first of all, I'm a senior and I'm a realtor and I'm also a home stager. And I started reading and getting information about some of the trends that are occurring. And we have like over 10,000 seniors or people over 65 that are retiring every year. So I thought, well, how can I be part of like everything that's happening and have something that's gonna help us kind of get from point A to point B? And because many of us are looking at the whole issue of downsizing, it just seems so overwhelming. So I actually got the idea of getting other experts together and I am just so blessed to know so many other women who are kind of work in the arena one way or another of, of, of helping people with this whole process. So we're going to be hearing from all of those um, people today that are, that are part of this uh, adventure. But um, I wrote um, a few of the chapters in there and for me the most important thing was setting the stage on, on the uh, intro where I wrote about the new retirement because a retirement today doesn't look anything like retirement like when my folks retired so um, we've got just really great um, content just updated stuff that's going to help uh, anybody that picks up that book whether you're 55 or older or younger anybody going through the process will benefit from the book Right. Well, there's people going into tiny houses, for gosh sakes, and they're in their 20s or 30s. So a lot of people could be downsizing at this point. So exactly. thank you for sharing that. Um, and let's go to one of the other authors, Michelle Mariscal. Tell us a little bit about you, what you do in your chapter. Sure. Thank you, Katrina. Hey, everybody. It's Michelle Mariscal with energym.org, and I'm a grief recovery specialist. And you may not recognize that uh, you may be processing some emotions of loss as you're going through this downsizing. My life was full of move after move after move after move. And I didn't realize, uh, nor did I process those emotions. Uh, I just sort of shoved them aside. So my chapter is called Processing Your Emotions. And I give you lots of tips and tricks and uh, ways to remain resilient during the downsizing and also to just recognize that you may be experiencing some loss in your downsizing and that it's normal and natural. Awesome, thank you. How about Michelle Vieira? What is your chapter all about? What do you do? Hi, Katrina and everybody. Um, my name's Michelle Vieira. I'm a certified professional organizer in Southern California. And I tend to work with people who um, have a little bit more attachment to their stuff. I would consider them to not be natural purgers. And it's a little bit harder for them to get and stay organized. And with the downsizing process, it can be particularly hard because of sentimental attachment or history and other reasons why they feel a little bit more compelled to keep the things. So my chapter is Called, but I love all my stuff and it's my intention to share some helpful tools and ideas about how to release those things how to make really good decisions that will really fit who you are and what you're up to and then how to make decisions in the future about what to keep and what to release as as we all navigate this downsizing process whether we're moving or not awesome so true all right, River Easter, we have uh, um, in the house. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do in your chapter, River. Hi, everyone. I am River Easter, and I am actually a change agent. I have a master's in organizational behavior and transformation, and that includes all change. And I hate change. I don't know about you. And so I've learned how to really navigate change in a way where it can be, 
you know, create more ease in your life and using mindfulness. So my chapter is all about different practices that you can bring in to help you in the moving process as we go through an emotionally charged and stressful event. Awesome. So important. All right, Grace, you are next. And I know Grace is not on video or video wasn't working, but she's still here. Make sure you unmute Grace. And Grace Bermudez is going to share with us a little bit about what she does and her chapter. Hi, everybody. This is Grace Bermudez, and I'm a professional organizer. I have been organizing since 2007, helped a lot of people downsize. And the thing about downsizing is a lot of times it's a very exciting time as well as a really stressful time. Um, people are excited for possibilities. And one thing people forget, they get overwhelmed and they go, oh my gosh, I'm moving into a smaller space or sometimes even a, a different living arrangement. And they're all worried, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with my stuff? How am I gonna do this? They get overwhelmed. And I like to take you back in my chapter, simplify your move and really discover what it is that you want when you downsize. Is it a different lifestyle? Is it the ability to do a different activity, pick up a new hobby, start a new business? Um, we talk about all that and how to make your new space work for you. Awesome. So, Thank you. Yeah. And Marlena, we have one more author that couldn't be with us today. Can you share a little bit about what she does and um, what her chapter was about? Yeah, uh, Laura Segura is the other author who couldn't be here today because of a family emergency, but um, she wrote an amazing story because it actually happened to her, and 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 it's kind of we call it a case study. And um, Laura was able to um, share what it was like working with her mom, who is who is still here, still living here, but is in her 90s, but her mom, who is all along has been very responsible in kind of basically downsizing all along, and everything's organized, there's, you know, there's not any clutter, everybody knows where everything is, when the time comes for the next step, so Laura had that experience, there's having that experience, and that, um, the other thing she did was to kind of juxtapose it to uh, what it was like to help her aunt who was like totally unprepared, unplanned, and it was just like chaos all over, just trying to find paperwork and just mounds of paperwork. And it was just a totally uh, frustrating kind of experience. So just to have that comparison, that contrast, um, would give people hope for, you know, what they could achieve by, by doing the decluttering and downsizing now. Yeah, so important. And I'm going through that myself, too. My mom's downsizing. And the next year, we'll be moving her into a retirement community in a teeny tiny one bedroom compared to her three bedroom house. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going through it myself, you guys. And in fact, I'm giving her your book. <laughs> she's going through all these emotions. She's going through her stuff. She's got grief and loss. She's got, oh my God. So, there's a lot of people in your lives that are going to need this book, you guys. So pay attention when it comes out on Tuesday, January 14th, 2020, for the launch of The Secret Sauce of Downsizing. All these ladies would really appreciate your support to buy the ebook. It's only going to be 99 cents, and then you can buy the print book later. But go help them and support them. Become bestsellers. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks, you.